Here are the three best wide receiver footwork drills for at home. So all three of these drills are super important and they also tie into each other. So make sure you stick around to the end so that you don't miss out. If you do miss out on some of the drills, you just won't get the full results. So make sure to stay around, then you'll get all the benefits of doing these drills all together. The drills don't take any special equipment. If you have like a ladder or some cones, then you can use those, but I'm just going to be using some old wood scraps. So you can really make do with anything that you have. Just find something around your house that'll work. So the first drill that we're going to do is just going to be an easy one. It's just to warm up our hips, knees, and feet, and also get our mind working together with our legs. Get them in unison and working nicely together. So this is where if you have a ladder, totally use it, but I don't. So I'm just going to be using these scraps of wood spaced out just like one to two feet away from each other. Just kind of try and replicate a ladder with whatever you have laying around. You could use like string for this. You could really use anything. You could paint lines in the grass or even just make marks with your cleats to do it. And most of these drills are great for wide receivers, but also for running back. So if you're a running back, just grab a ball and just carry it most of the time. So I'm not gonna carry a ball, but if you're a running back, then you can carry this. Or if you run a lot with the ball, then you can carry a ball as well. Or you can run through it twice, one with the ball, one not. So this first drill is just gonna be a one, two, out. 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 Just do that back and forth a couple times. So you're all working a bit faster. And back. Ooh, screwing it up a little bit. So see, just take it slow. Get your mind working together with your legs. One, two, out, 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 one, two, out. And then start trying to get your arms moving too. So if you're having trouble, synchronizing your arms and your legs and just where they're all supposed to go. Just do it standing still. Just forget about the ladder and just go start just jogging on the spot, kind of doing high knees and then stepping out. Oh, see that? My arms are just screwing up. So just get in the mindset, get your mind working. High knees, high knees. And then after you've done that a bit, go back to the ladder and try it again. So, high knees. And then. So this next row is gonna be working more on our kind of slants and corner routes. So you're gonna set up some cones or something, kind of like this, sort of in a diamond shape. And we're gonna be running it from here. We're gonna start, we're gonna be going Plant, go back, plant, go back, plant, and go. Do just a nice little zigzag route. Get them a couple steps apart. Again, you can use basically anything for this. You could set up rocks and it would work just fine. So we'll just run it for you, like at a medium jog speed. And in all of these, just try and keep your center of gravity low knees bent close to the ground and just be explosive as you can. Now we'll run a bit faster. There we go. This is also a really good one for running back so grab your ball if you're running back and hit this one. Whew, I'm winded from that one. Now the last drill is kind of a combination of both of these, the quick feet with this. So now we're going to keep the exact same setup, but now whenever we go into the corners, we're just going to, you know, do a little stutter step. One, two, three, and go. That's kind of just like practicing your jukes a bit. If you want, you can even go make your stutter step. All right, like really make it a juke. So you're kind of medium speed.
you're not going to be able to go as fast with this, that's just start slower and progress your way up. And then work a bit more of a juke side to side, head fakes into it. So for this last drill, it's going to be a staircase, kind of shuffle and quick feet one. Just set something up, kind of like this, into a staircase. So here, here, here and here, don't mind those pieces of wood out there. Laces! So what we're going to do on this one is we're always going to be facing this way. We're going to be doing quick feet and then, and then go off. Do over, 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 and then run. Be super explosive on this one. Just turn it back again. So try focus on either getting like two steps in each or four or three, however it works out nicely. Just try and keep it consistent. So here, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Or you can do more of a stutter, right? Three or four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, to three steps. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, and go. Let's just work through these drills a couple times. Again, like I said before, they all work together. Start off with the easy ladder drill. Just working together, the mind and the feet. If I had started off with this one, I wouldn't have been able to do it. My feet would have just been going all over the place. I would have been stepping on wood, rolling my ankles. I wouldn't have been warmed up, right? Start off with the easy ones. Get your hips, knees, feet, ankles, everything warm. And also get your mind warm. Go grab some water. You did well. Now just run through that two or three times and you'll be good to go. This is also a great warm up for a game or practice. Like if you're going into a game and your team has a ladder or some cones, set this up, maybe do it with a couple of buddies. Really gets your feet moving. Gets you in a game mindset. And like I said before, if you're a running back, just grab a ball. And also receivers, you can grab a ball too. It's always good to, you know, run with the ball because everybody does. You catch the ball and you run. So it's also good to work in ball with this. Thanks so much for watching. You're watching Coach Red and I'll see you in the next one.